What's up guys, been a while. So, uh, very sad week in the sport of pro wrestling. First, we lost uh, Terry Funk, an absolute great legend in the business. Uh, amazing matches with Mick Foley and ECW and all around. Such a great character and a great champion of his time. Um, King of Hardcore, they call him, I'm pretty sure, from what I remember. And Bray Wyatt at the age of 36. Uh, that's a big loss for WWE and it's such a shame because this guy has been gone for the longest time and I've been hearing rumors for the longest time that he was supposed to be having a big comeback, you know? And all of a sudden he's gone just like that. You know, it's very unfortunate. I remember seeing him as Husky Harris back in NXT. Then he came in with the Wyatt family and then he transitioned into The Fiend, and they went back to Bray Wyatt. But uh, behind the scenes, he was really a uh, really happy guy. Always a kind word for everybody, and I just hope the both of our families can get through this. I mean, nobody can really get through death, like when it comes to family and stuff like that, because it's something you never forget and you learn to live with. But Strength and, prayer, strength and prayers, my condolences to the family of both these great athletes. Um, and man, uh, Bray Wyatt, he's really done something incredible for the wrestling business because there's, of all like the new talent in this generation, I gotta say he's the one who really came from the bottom and really worked himself up and he put himself over uh, with all these different gimmicks that he had, especially the Fiend, I was a really big, I'm a really big fan of the Fiend character. That was awesome. Uh, Terry Funk is also a very great wrestler as well. Uh, he was really, really tough and he went a really, really long time before he retired as well. Um, him and his old uh, tag team matches with Dory Funk Jr. and stuff back in the olden days. Uh, Rest in peace to the both of these guys, you know, it's a real shame because I would have really loved Bray to come back and win the Royal Rumble and possibly the throne Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 40 this year, but I'm pretty sure he'll definitely be going into the Hall of Fame. He really deserves it. Uh, I know right now all the merchandise that's being sold in WWE shop, uh, apparently all the proceeds are being donated to his family, so I'm gonna go and buy a shirt of The Fiend or one of his gimmicks and the Wyatt family to, to show my support as well. But man, half of, the Wyatt, half of the Wyatt family is gone. First Brody and now Bryant, like Bray. It's crazy, and I was just Strowman and the other guy, Eric Rowan. I think maybe them, them two, they should team up and make a tag team and go for the tag team titles. And uh, well, whenever they recover, they'll probably both be taking time off because of this, but really sad week in time for wrestling business. Stay strong out there, guys, and uh, uh, be happy every day. Do as much as you can, get as much as you can out of life. Uh, do everything as safe as you possibly can in moderation. Uh, tell people you love them, people you care about, and don't take anything for granted. And, Realize how precious life really is. Take care. See you in the next one.